Today, we're gonna to be making a really simple, really fast chicken bone broth from the leftovers of the roasted chicken that you guys can make in just a few hours in your Instant Pot. And it's going to be so incredibly gut healing, but it's not even gonna heat up your kitchen. About a decade ago, I finally became aware that our family seemed to be getting sick a lot. We had a bunch of small children in the house and it felt like we got every stomach virus that came through. Stomach flu, stomach bug, whatever you wanna call it, we got every single one. I set out to improve our gut health, and there were three things that really made a huge difference. The first was cultured dairy. That really, really helped us. The second was uh, vegetables, fermented vegetables, getting a lot of those in the diet. But this third thing, I think, is what really, really helped, and that's really good quality bone broth. So today, we're gonna be making a really simple, really fast, chicken bone, bone broth from the leftovers of the roasted chicken that you guys can make in just a few hours in your Instant Pot. And it's going to be so incredibly gut healing, but it's not even gonna heat up your kitchen. We're gonna want a carrot from the garden. Oh look, the onions are just about ready to harvest. We're gonna want one of those too. All right, let's head to the kitchen and make some bone broth. A lot of times I would use vegetable ends in little bits, like the onion skins or the tops of onions that I had uh, saved from my different cooking ventures. <laughs> but I've been making a lot of broth lately, so I had to go get some fresh ones. And I'm completely out of celery, so today we're gonna use a little bit of lovage instead. Lovage is a seasoning that tastes a lot like celery. So when I don't have any celery ripe or on hand, I can just grab a little bit of lovage. But if you have some celery, that's a great way to go. You can even just use the leaves that you've been saving from celery from other things you're doing with it. Harvest season is in full swing around here. So I'm really thankful to have a really healthy and easy to make food. Uh, like this chicken broth that is just so incredibly good for us, even when we're busy, even when we're tired. It's also still really hot around here right now, which means that having the ability to make something like a bone broth in an electric pressure cooker really is gonna save the house from getting heated up uh, versus putting this in a stock pot and simmering it all day, which I love doing in the winter, but when the kitchen's already hot, you don't really wanna make it any hotter. Last night after the chickens had been roasted and well consumed, I went ahead and put them in the Instapot base. Now we raise our own meat chickens here and we're kind of down to the bottom of the batch in the freezer before we have the next batch go through. And so these were some smaller chickens. So I went ahead and did three of them. Now I also have the chicken that, uh, the chicken feet, and the necks and these are so incredibly good you guys these add so much gelatin and collagen to your broth this is just so incredibly healing if you can get these chicken feet in there make sure they're well cleaned and ready to go now we're filling this pot up quite a bit and that is okay then i went ahead and poured over some water up to just below the max line and I added about a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. This really helps to pull out that gelatin and all the minerals in the bone. And then I put a lid on it and I let it sit overnight in the refrigerator. Now this step is optional, but it's really going to help to make sure that you get the most health benefits out of that bone broth. All right, now our chicken has been in the water overnight with that broth. And you know, it's a little lower than I'd like it to be, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up a little bit more to just below that max line. There we go. 
Okay, now let's prep our veggies. I don't really need a whole carrot in there. I just want a little bit of flavor. So I'm just gonna take the top off and leave the rest of the carrot for something else. Same thing with the onion. There we go. And the lovage, I'm just gonna cut a little smaller. That will be plenty of lovage. Just right there is absolutely fine on that lovage. It's really powerful. Now, garlic, I like a lot of garlic. So I just grabbed a garlic from the garlic braid back there. I'm not even gonna peel it. I'm just gonna pop it right in. Remember, all of this is gonna be strained right off. Let's set this into that pressure cooker base right there. Today I'm using a six quart instant pot, um, but of course you can use whatever it is you have on hand. Make sure we are turned to sealing. Now it's really important that we don't overcook this. We want to get all the goodies out, but we don't want to destroy the collagen and the gelatin in there. So it's really important we kind of drop the temperature down. So we do not want to stick this in and start blasting it away on high pressure. We're going to hit the soup button, change the pressure to low pressure, and then adjust this to a two hour cook time. That's gonna help to retain all those amazing, amazing benefits of that gelatin. You guys, gelatin in your broth just coats your intestinal lining and helps calm everything down. It also really, really helps to boost your immune system. That's by helping with your digestion. Remember that like 75% of our immune system is in our gut. So taking care of our gut is not only gonna help our stomach and our digestive health, it's also gonna take care of our entire body and our immune system health. So this is super, super important. Now I'm going to let this cook for the full two hours and then I'm gonna let it drop down and release with a natural pressure release, which means I'm just gonna let it sit there until the pressure is all gone and it releases. This is gonna extend that gentle cooking period just a little bit longer and really help to get all the goodies out of those bones. The Instapot is done and it has naturally cooled all the way down and released its pressure. So now we're gonna change it over to vent and open it up. Oh, this smells so incredibly good. Now it's time to strain this out. Now here I have my gallon jar and I have a nice big funnel and a skimmer or a strainer. And I'm just gonna really carefully pour this out. Now, this is a great thing to do in a sink. There we go. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. Now, right now, this is amazing. This is gonna be a great broth and it smells so incredibly flavorful. I know it's gonna be really delicious, but we wanna see how well it gels. And we also wanna remove any of the fat layer that gets to the top. So the way we're gonna do this is put a lid on this and put it in the refrigerator overnight, let it gel up and let that fat rise to the top so that we can skim that off. This broth has now been sitting in the refrigerator overnight, and so we're ready to take a look and see. First of all, look at it. It is definitely nice and thick and jelly. Now, it's not as thick as something that I would cook all day on the, uh, you know, on the stove top, but it is very, very much thickened, and it's very much uh, gelled in there. So we're gonna go ahead and pull off this chicken fat from the top, you guys, don't uh, just dump this. Make sure that you use this in your cooking. This is so incredibly delicious and it's just great fat, just like a butter or anything like that, a good lard. So make sure you use that. Okay, and we're just gonna skim this off the top so that we don't have a layer of flat fat sitting on there when we wanna go to use this. So speaking of using this, let's talk about different ways we can use this chicken broth. Um, you can use this in the obvious ways, like, you know, making a soup or something like that. But some other really amazing ways to use this is to cook your grains in it. If you're making rice, cook it in your chicken broth instead of water. Oh, it's so delicious. You can do the same with your vegetables, with pasta, with all sorts of great things, potatoes, cook it in your broth instead. One of my favorite ways 
to consume this is just to drink it plain with a little bit of salt and nutmeg over the top. Yes, nutmeg, it is absolutely delicious. Give it a try. Now, if you're trying to heal your body and make sure that you have great digestive and immune health, then you'll wanna make sure that you're consuming between one and two quarts of this a day. That is a lot of broth to drink, so make sure you're getting it into your diet. But a little bit is better than nothing. So even if you just start with a cup or two a day and start working your way up from there, it's going to help out your health immediately. You'll probably see effects of it within a week or two of drinking this daily or consuming it daily. It is such an amazing thing. Don't forget you can make gravies, you can make sauces, you can do all sorts of great things with this broth. You guys, if you wanna know the number one secret ingredient that I put into a broth when I'm making it in order to make it super immune boosting during cold and flu season, check out this video right here. Take care, you guys.